How you do? How you doing, guys? Uh, for today's video, we're gonna look at a new version of uh, Pixel Film Studios Final Cut Pro 10 LUT loader. Now, uh, the prior versions um, doesn't work with macOS Sierra, so um, I went to the website, downloaded the Sierra, Sierra only version, which uh, not only works, it actually gives you quite a few new features. It seems from what I remember. So we're gonna take a look at that now. Here, we're, uh, here we are already in uh, Final Cut Pro 10, and uh, we already have a clip loaded uh, with some basic color correction already done. And uh, we simply just uh, added uh, Final Cut Pro 10 LUT loader already to show you some of the uh, new features. Now you can actually uh, install LUTs two different ways. Uh, one, using a menu system. Now initially when you install the new version, you only get a test LUT. Now if you buy um, some ready-made LUTs from Pixel Film Studios, they'll automatically be loaded. Now if you have any third-party LUTs, um, you're gonna have to do that manually, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, but you can uh, load it separately, uh, one by one, using uh, clicking on the external LUT. It'll just simply bring up uh, uh, file manager and then you simply go to where your LUT is located and load it that way which is a bit slow and depending if you want to uh, you're going to be loading different LUTs trying each one out very slow way of doing it now you do have a menu system as well and um, from here you can choose which one you want to use like I said before you have to load all your third-party LUTs manually which I'm going to show you now and uh, we're just going to minimize that. So we're going to bring up this right here. And so you're going to go to your uh, Mac hard drive, in this case Macintosh HD hard drive. You can go to library, uh, plugins, uh, effects plugins, and then finally uh, Final Cut 10 LUT loader contents resources and boy this is a long one okay finally you reach LUTs and then from here you simply uh, copy and paste all your LUTs in this folder like I said before you'll originally have a uh, test LUT to use with it and then you uh, like I said put it in the, the folder and then you need to read start Final Cut Pro 10 and then you'll see them in uh, the menu so we're going to open that back up and so we're going to go ahead and load our LUT now. Uh, I'm going to probably use the one I use a lot, which is going to be uh, Osiris Vision 6 um, Rec 709, which is right here. And then once you have it loaded, you have many controls. Now, this is pretty standard among LUT loaders. You can mix the amount from 0 to 100. Now, fortunately, you don't have much play with this slider. So um, you don't seem to have very much fine control um, for some reason. We're going to go ahead and leave that at 100%. Now, which is kind of new is I think they added much more uh, many options. Uh, I think it also depends on the LUT as well, depending on which one you have loaded with what um, type of options you have. Now, um, here you actually got, uh, I believe, nine more selections or options you can do. From uh, in this case, your sliders up here are control saturation all the way through pivot, um, brightness, gamma, and so on. Now, I was interested in knowing if that would control the LUT only, which I'm hoping, or the entire um, picture or video as well, uh, because I, I hopefully it's just going to do the effect the LUT only because I'd rather do color correction and everything else within either Apple's color board or color finale or some other way rather than you using the LUT loader uh, which uh, and that goes with any other plugin as well I, I like using the uh, default um, color correction software um, now also uh, seems to be new as well you can control the uh, highlights midtones and shadows which uh, you can also do the individual channels red green and blue uh, with sliders as well 
And uh, also, uh, you can use an eyedropper to affect um, your um, LUT here. And then you can add in as much or little as needed, depending on what color you want. I'm uh, not 100% color mix, but if you look um, over here at the uh, RGB overlay, it uh, seems to affect the uh, mixing of uh, the colors as well from 0 to 100. Um, just like so. So uh, there we go. That is um, Pix uh, Pixel Film Studios new version of Final Cut Pro 10 LUT loader. Like I said, you can download it for free. Um, it's a freebie that they give out uh, for quite a while. So if you don't have a, a LUT loader and don't want to pay money for one, then you can uh, try this one out and see how you like it. Uh, thanks.